so much for your time, Joseph. Now, uh, it does seem unlikely that the country just confirmed its first case. I mean, having in mind it shares a long border with China, first of all, that's its biggest trading partner. And then, you know, that's where all this started, the pandemic in December. There was a lot of speculation that uh, North Korea had also been suffering from the epidemic, especially when it took steps quite early in the year to close its border with China. But the announcement probably was the North Korean way of informing its own people and the international community that it now also suffers from the epidemic. The announcement probably uh, paves the way uh, for various domestic mobilization measures, including the implementation of all types of social distancing, segregation measures, and it probably allows and facilitates the regime to appeal for help, especially from Russia and China, uh, which has the which has some surplus capacity to help. Uh, it may also accept assistance from South Korea, which is ready and willing to help. But And of course, accepting, accepting help from South Korea will mean an improvement of inter-Korean relations as well. Right. That's actually my second question, because, uh, you know, South Korea says they haven't reported any illegal crossings in recent days. Um, Pyongyang blames them. Why do you think they, they, they are blaming Seoul for this first case? Well, uh, it is politically correct to put the blame on, uh, on a political defector, someone who had defected from the country and went to South Korea. We all know that the inter-Korean border uh, is a very dangerous place and it's extremely difficult to cross the border uh, through the demilitarized zone. Various traffic probably has gone from South Korea to various cities in China and then crossing the uh, uh, border from China into North Korea, where apparently a lot of smuggling activities uh, have been going on. So. Uh, the Pyongyang regime is deliberately vague on the source uh, of the defector, where he had come from, and so on, despite this uh, politically correct blame on the defector. Uh, Joseph, you know, foreign experts are warning that uh, a massive coronavirus outbreak in North Korea could cause dire consequences because we already know they have frag fragile public health care infrastructure, a lack of medical supplies. So um, who can actually jump in and help beside China? Well, the regime has its strength in its mobilization capacity of imposing discipline on the people. It also has the advantage of being a very, very close country, very little traffic with the external world. But you are definitely right. The, the country is suffering from a shortage of food and an acute shortage of various types of medical supplies. Uh, probably Russia and China are ready to help and uh, China probably has the capacity and the willingness to help. And as we were saying, uh, South Korea may also be another important source of assistance. Mm. Joseph Cheng, thanks so much for that political analyst live for us from Sydney. Joseph, thanks so much for that input for us here at TRT World.